get God's attention. Now, is God watching everybody? Yes. Yes. But some people will get God's attention. And not everybody will. The people, the Bible says, the people that get his attention are the people that are looking for him. Mm-hmm. When God knows that he means something to you, he's going to notice what you're doing. Yep. It's special. Okay. David was the youngest of his brothers. And boys and girls, every day, he didn't get to go to camp. He didn't get to go to school. Do you know what he did most of the time when he was your age? Look. He was out here watching sheep. He was a shepherd. When you all did your crossword puzzle yesterday, what did Joseph and his brothers do? They were shepherds. Now, sometimes they helped Dad with the food, but most of the time they had to watch the animals. Okay? Well, that's what David did. He had to watch those animals. Now, imagine all day long being out there in the yard by yourself with your dog or your cat all day long by yourself. How would that make you feel? Um, Born Born and lonely, right. Well, look, David, now, here's one thing about David. David made a choice that he wasn't going to be bored. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. When David was out there, he did some things. He practiced with slingshots. He practiced writing songs. He wrote poems. He thought about God. He, He thought, he wrote down how he felt. He didn't waste his time. In fact, he learned how to enjoy his day even though there wasn't a lot to do. Mm-hmm. He made a choice. I'm going to serve the Lord today. Now, boys and girls, you remember you all, uh, Mr. Carlson, I think, or somebody asked about Miss Daring, who can be a leader? Okay, now can everybody be a leader? Yes. Does that mean everybody should be a leader? No. no. Everybody can be. The problem is they're not ready to be. Nope. Like Mr. Carlton mentioned, he has to watch you. We have to watch you. The Bible says God watches us. Well, God was watching David. And God noticed, you know what? When those sheep start running off, I notice that David does something. He goes after those sheep. He doesn't just let them wander off and ignore them or forget about them because he knows there's snakes out there. He knows there's bears out there. He knows there's lions out there. He knows that they could fall into a pit and not be able to get out. They can't eat. They can't drink. He knows they could get sick. David cares about others. God's notice it. Did you know in the Bible that it says we had this verse two years ago? I think uh, Moses remembers this. It says a righteous man regards the life of his animal. People that love God take care of nature. They take care of it. When you take care of your fish and you don't wait for mama or daddy to take care of them, you're honoring God because you're thinking about life. Okay? Well, that's what David did. Now, boys and girls, there were some adults. Now, he is he a man or a boy? He's a what? Man. He's a boy. Man. He's a boy. He is a boy. We talked about that. He is a shepherd boy. We think that right now he is about 11 or 12. Not any bigger than anybody, a lot of people in this room. That's right. Now I want you to understand this. We talked about this last week. Just because you look little doesn't mean you're little. Okay? Boys and girls, dynamite is about this big. It, it, could, take this, it could take this building off the foundation. Okay? Okay? Even you said dynamite? Huh? Dynamite. Dynamite? Little. You can have a cotton ball bigger than this building and it won't do much of anything. You see the difference? So size does not mean better and little does not mean less. It depends on what you're going to do with it. Thank you. Okay. Now, the older leaders were not good leaders because instead of thinking about we, mm-hmm. they only would think about me. Me, right. That's all they could, they just were selfish. And God was very upset. And you know what they did? They said, God, we want a leader. We want a king because everybody else has a king. And God says, you know what? You can't follow a man if you can't follow me. That's right. If you can't obey God, boys and girls, you can't be a good leader. 
Because God is the only one that teaches us what a leader is like. Okay? So David learned. He practiced all the time. And he was, and he tried his best to love God with all of his heart and soul and mind and strength. Now, let me look. Let me show you something. One day, God told the prophet, and his name was Samuel. Samuel was one of the only leaders in all of Israel that understood how much the people needed to repent. Remember we talked about this last week? When I sin, it makes everything get worse. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And it comes between me and God. And it comes between me and other people. It's like that wall. Y'all remember we talked about that wall last week? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I sin, when I don't do my best, all it does is make a wall between me and other people or me and God. And when there's a wall there, I can't do as much. Okay? Now, God told Samuel, I, I have found a king, but he's not like the others. He is honest and he pleases me. And I know he will be a good leader. You know what the problem was, boys and girls? God didn't tell anybody his name. <laughs> it didn't. So Samuel said, well, God, who is it? And he said, you're going to have to look for him. You're right. Well, Saul, uh, Saul, I'm sorry, Samuel went to the house of Jacob. And Samuel, and, and Samuel said, Jacob... God has told me that in this land is, a, is the new leader. He will be the king of a whole nation. Now, boys and girls, that's better than being president because if you're president, you're only president how long? Four years. If you're king, you're the king for how long? That's longer for your life. Yeah. You see? Uh, you're the king for life. Well, he said, tell me, Jacob, about your boys. And Jacob said, oh, i got some big boys. I've got some really good boys. Look at this. He had a lion. He had some brothers that were had been serving in the army. And they were tall and they were experienced warriors and they knew how to have weapons. And they had uh, had to go on battles and they had to fight the enemy. And they had all these abilities and they were older. And so Samuel came. God says, not that one. Samuel came, God said, not that one. Samuel's like, I'm getting tired of looking. God, who is it that you want me to find? And God said, you got to keep what? Okay. you got to keep looking. Boys and girls, you want to find a good leader, you have to keep looking. Now, they, they wanted to say, I bet it's me. I bet it's me. Boys and girls, if you see people that want to be leaders and they always want to be noticed in front of everybody else, they will never be a good leader. Leaders wait to be chosen. I see some of you know how to do that. You, they don't jump in front of everybody else. They wait. He had 11. He had, he had all these brothers. And all of them were older and bigger. Samuel so went to them and said, is it you? God says, no. Now, guess what? He came back to Jesse. I mean, to Jacob. And he said, Jacob, I have looked everywhere. Do you have any more sons Raise your hand if you know the answer. Um, Does he have any more boys? Yes. Yes. Who is it? No. No. David. Who is it? David. But David wasn't with the other brothers. Where's David at? Quick. Where's David at? In the field with the sheep. Sydney. In the field with the sheep. Right. David was doing his work. Now look, he's the youngest, he is the smallest. And nobody had to tell him, David, you're supposed to be watching him sheep. He's not running around. He's not goofing off. He is obeying what they told him. And boys and girls, he's in a dangerous place. How many of you all would let, your parents would just let you be out in the field all by yourself all day? I'm 
think so. I wouldn't have done that with my kids. Okay? But he's out there. God said, Samuel. And Jacob said, well, I have a little boy named David, but that can't be David. God said, Samuel, go out there and see David. So Samuel passed by all the older ones, all the bigger ones, all the ones that were smarter, all the ones that were stronger, and came to the littlest boy. This is what the Bible says. The Lord said to say, I'm sorry, let me back up. Verse 5, peaceably, I have come to sacrifice the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and come to me with this sacrifice. So he consecrated Jesse and his sons. I said Jacob, man, God, I'm sorry. He Jesse and invited them to the sacrifice. And so it was when they came that he looked at Eliab, that's one of the brothers, and said, Surely the Lord is anointed before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Don't look at his appearance or at his physical stature. That means his size. Because I have refused him. Boys and girls, there's a lot of people God's going to refuse. Just because he loves you doesn't mean he picks you. Do you understand the difference? He loves you and I. He doesn't always pick you. Do you get picked every time you want to do something? No. Can't be thought. Very good. For man looks at the outward appearance. People look at what it looks like on the outside, but the Lord looks at the heart. God doesn't care about the outside. God's looking at the inside. He's looking at your thoughts. He's looking at your heart. He's looking at what's important to them. Are they honest? Are they dependable? Do they care? Okay. Were you raising your hand? Okay, all right, very good. Then, Jesse said, There remains the youngest, and there he is. He is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send for him, for we will not sit down until he comes here. So he said, and he brought him, and now he was ruddy. And that word means, boys and girls, that he was rough looking. How many of you all have played really hard outside? And when you play really hard outside, does your hair stay clean? No. no. Do you got to get some smudges on your face? Yeah. Your shirt kind of get all bent up like this? Stretched out? You need, you got your knees dirty? He was rough looking because he'd been outside all night. Working. With bright eyes and he was good looking. And the Lord said, Arise and anoint him for this is the one. God says, you found him. You all remember that story about Cinderella? I did. Cinderella had to leave the ball early, but she left something. What'd she leave? Her, her glass slip. And that prince wanted to find her, but he didn't have her name on the shoe, did he? And he had to go to every lady in the kingdom and do what? Try it on. Try it on. Now, boys and girls, God did the same thing, but it was better than a shoe. God is looking for somebody who fits just like him, who's loving and caring, and he's looking around, and he wants us to look because that's where your leaders are. And so boys and girls, at that, and now can you imagine, when he was a boy, Samuel anointed him with oil and said, David, God has chosen you to be the first in the new one. That's about his today. Dear Father, thank you for this morning. Lord God, help us this morning to love and to listen to you. Father, may we behold and notice you. And Father, may we do what's right so you can notice us. And Father, may you see something special that you have put in us today. And Lord, please don't let us disappoint you. And please don't let us disappoint others or ourselves. Help us, Father, to do what's right. And Father, like David, to Father, to obey and to do our best. Always. And Father, choose us because Father, we want to serve you and love you in your kingdom. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right.